Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha. We're on the second of fall, and we still have to explore the savanna, and there may be some crop that pops up in the jungle, but we didn't see any. But we did miss some crops in the jungle last season, so... We'll be making sure to check on that this season and just see. Alright. Starting the morning off by opening our journal. We have a gift from the Mograni. My people think that this lentil pie is amazing. Hopefully you do too. Excellent. And we finished our final medium barn. So going forward, bear with me. All right, we got that fixed. Uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit of editing on that, but it's fine. We'll get that taken care of. No big deal. And we're gonna go ahead and juice the rest of these. Because we can. That's why. It'll be really nice for us to have the additional income while we're waiting for our first crops. Ignore her. She has the zoomies. If you can hear her in the background. She's very cute, but she's got the zoomies. All right, let's choose that. Let's mayonnaise this. And in the meantime, let's grab that remaining bit of juice and we will throw the juice into the burrs. All right, and then Hmm. You know what? We'll transfer that out. We'll, we're going to probably go ahead and toss that. Um, but we're going to start storing sapphires again. And we are going to grab one piece of jasper to give to our friend Garrick. And then... Hmm... That's cheese, which we can sell. I don't know why it's in there, but there's cheese in there. Um, okay. Awesome. We should need to play music for our animals again today. And we should also need to shear our animals. Ah, just missed him. That's all right. Okay. We'll play some music for everybody, which should go and gather quite a bit of attention. And a horn there. Did we play music for the baby? Yes, we did. But we did not play music for him. Okay. And we'll play music for these two. And we'll gather their poop. Or not. But we'll at least clean up the poop. Okay. 
Now, thankfully, we only have one field to go wander through. Um. Okay, there's just a lot of stuff for us to sell in there. What else can we work on here? Let's see. We can't really dry the grains. I think it may be best if we leave our processors be for a bit. Be really honest with everyone. It's not really what I was looking to do. Okay. <clears throat> Fine, be that way. Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to spend a moment planning this out here. So, bear with me and I'll be... Alright, we are back and we're buying some seeds from Grandpa. Zelk reminds me of when I was male. Just with more hair. <clears throat> so, we need to get some ca uh, butternut squash in the ground. I just went ahead and put that alongside the uh, sweet potatoes for now. Although we are going to buy more sweet potatoes. We're honestly just going to spend a lot of money right now. Okay. That should do for the moment. So, based on what we already have going on. Let's get more pumpkins into the ground. Okay. This field should be prickly pear. The next field is our squash and carrots, which we'll come back to. Um, after that, it should be onion. And then funnel. And then should be cabbage, right? Yeah. Okay. And be right back after we water. Okay, that's that stuff watered for now. And we will head off <coughs> to the savannah. Um, actually, we're going to do some shipping first, I think. Or trading if we can. Hi, Zelk. You have anything good for us to trade? I love Aunt Eddie. She knows how to tell a story. That's great. Seeds, my dude. Nothing that we want. Okay. Thank you. Um, we'll go ahead and ship some stuff. And that cheese, and that mango, and that mayonnaise. Okay. And we're going to run off to the savannah. Although we may not be making friends as much as we'd like to, the savannah is going to have some good stuff for us, I think. Now we're going to have to do some wandering, but hopefully. But we will just kind of run around a little bit and see if we can't find things like that. Now what did we find? Chilies. Okay. Chilies is a good thing, I guess. They do appear to be regrowable. Okay. 
and the guanaco are down over here today which is fine as long as we're managing to find things that's what matters uh, we got some mint sure we'll take it Had some of those night ostriches grow up, it looks like. Not seeing a whole lot, though. No, no, we are not. I'm hoping we get to encounter something. That's Garbanzo. That's Rosemary. <clears throat> Garbanzo's not really what we're seeking. There's something up here. Buckwheat. Okay. We'll take that. Hello, mammoth friends. Let's see here. I don't know how much more we're going to find, but I'm hoping we'll find something. Oh, finally, corn. I've been looking for this for two seasons, right? So we got the corn we've been looking for, which is excellent. And then I have whatever that is. Oh, that's just the mandrake. Okay. I always mix up the mandrake for like another form of carrot or potato or something. I know, that's my bad. But it is a thing that I do. We'll check along this whole ridge. Not really a whole lot here, but that's okay. So, if we take a look at things. Oh, it's too late. Otta will be in bed. My bad. Oh well, it happens. So... Buckwheat is a fall. Corn is a fall. And chili is summer fall. So we did miss that, but that's okay. So we'll put some chili there, some buckwheat there, and some corn. Actually, the corn can go right where it is. That's perfect. Okay. Now I rather highly suspect corn is going to be regrowable. So I'd like to see it about here, I think. I know that seems a little odd that I'm putting it so far down. But the thing with that is that honestly, that's going to give me five fields of everything else. And then I have more space for corn. Um, things that I suspect will not regrow. Let's see. I suspect chili will. I suspect buckwheat will not. So I'd say that's next. I hate that it's late and we're eating, but gotta do what you gotta do. Um, and I don't think onion is going to regrow either. 
Uh, but I do think that the chili will. <coughs> so I'm thinking, honestly, let's just put the chili here for now. It's not the most perfectly organized field in the world. But to be honest, we know what our limit is for planting at this current technology level. And let's stop trying to go over that. Because <coughs> otherwise you guys have to put up with me. <coughs> and my having to cut out large portions of the day for watering. Um, which I know brings so much more fun to the game. But let's give her a save. It's going to bring us up to 115,000 clan prosperity, to which we contributed 1,077 today, which is excellent. We're keeping it topped up over 3,000 prosperity, which is really impressive considering just how many seeds we are buying. And thank goodness we should be getting a copper watering can today. However, that is going to have to wait. For with the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we have come to the end of another episode. If you like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And have a good night.